The Tokyo Olympics are scheduled to start in July of 2020. Due to unprecedented circumstances, the Olympics had to be postponed until the summer of 2021. World Athletics then announced that the World Championships scheduled for the summer of 2021 were effectively postponed and moved to July 2022 to not conflict with the Summer Olympic Games. This opened the door for an unprecedented sequence of major championships in track and field history. First, the Olympics were held in the summer of 2021 in Tokyo, Japan. They will then be followed up by the 2022 World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. We will then immediately head over to Budapest, Hungary for the World Championships happening in August 2023. The following year, Paris, France will play host to the 2024 Olympic Games that summer. Finally, we'll see another World Championships in 2025 in a yet to be determined city. Usually, athletes will compete in an Olympic cycle, which includes two World Championships, an Olympics, and an off year. For example, starting in 2015, we saw the World Championships in Beijing, the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio, followed by another World Championships in London 2017. Finally, the cycle ended with an off year in 2018. Because of the change though, we will now see the five consecutive major championships I mentioned previously. This brings a completely different dynamic for athletes as they will now have to ensure that they are ready to peak and prepare for each championship without the choice or opportunity to have an off year to work on things, heal from injuries, or try something different in training or competition. So it begs the question, will athletes be ready to medal at five consecutive championships? And can any athlete actually win five consecutive gold medals at all of these championships? The Tokyo Olympic Games have just completed and we saw a slew of young athletes that have already started off this cycle with a gold medal. So let's take a look at some of these athletes that are strong contenders to win five consecutive gold medals. First off, we have Sydney McLaughlin from the United States. Only 22 years old this year, she competes in the 400 meter hurdles and won the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. Running a world record of 51.46 seconds, she backed up her previous world record of 51.90 seconds from earlier this year. Though she is young and though she is probably the favorite for the next generation of the 400 meter hurdles, she still has some tough competition from Dalila Muhammad, who ran 51.58 seconds just behind her and is a world champion from 2019, so has a wild card to the 2022 world championships. Also, Femke Bol from the Netherlands has run 52.03 seconds and is also only 22 years old. Shamir Little is not too far behind with a 52.39 best. So Sydney McLaughlin, a very strong contender, but she does have a lot of competition at least in the near future with Dalila Muhammad. Next up, we have to take a look at Mondo Duplantis from Sweden. He has been on a tear for the past couple years, only 21 years old, competes in that pole vault, won the Olympic gold in Tokyo, has the world record of 6.18 meters, which he set back in 2020 during the indoor season. He has taken multiple shots at 6.19 meters for the world record. At the Olympic Games, actually after he won the gold medal, his first attempt at 6.19 meters was one of his closest, unfortunately still didn't get it, but he is probably one of the top contenders to potentially win five consecutive golds. A lot of competition with him though, of course Chris Nielsen, the silver medalist from Tokyo. Sam Kendricks couldn't compete in Tokyo, but he's definitely going to still be in the conversation. Ernest John Obiena from the Philippines, he has been very consistent this year. Timur Morganov from Russia, he's also been a very great contender. Diego Braz, the 2016 Olympic champion, got bronze medal at Tokyo this year. And Casey Lightfoot from the United States, also in the conversation. So a lot of guys who Mondo might be competing with, but Mondo has shown that there are levels to the pole vault and he is definitely going to be the one to beat when it comes to the next five championships. Next up, let's take a look at a thing Mo from the United States, only 19 years old this year, competes in the 800 meters where she won a gold medal in Tokyo. Her personal best of 1 minute 55.04 seconds makes her number eight all time in the 800 meters, one of the youngest competitors to win gold in Tokyo. But she has some strong competition. Kelly Hodgkinson from Great Britain, she was just behind in the silver medal position, 155.88, and is also only 19 years old, so very, very young, just like a thing Mo. We also have Raven Rogers, a bronze medalist, Gemma Riki, who came in fourth, Natoya Gul, Rose Mary Almanza. There's a lot of competition in the women's 800 meters, but a thing Mo clearly a step above from the rest of the field and looks to really contend for the future gold medals. 
Taking a look in the field events, we have Yulimar Rojas from Venezuela, 26 years old. She's actually the triple jump world champion from 2017, 2019, and of course won the gold in Tokyo. So she right now has three consecutive golds. She also broke the world record in that Tokyo triple jump final, jumping 15.67 meters, a massive, massive world record, improving on the previous world record by a couple centimeters there. She has some competition. Of course, Mamona from Portugal jumped 15.01 meters to get the silver medal in Tokyo. Shanika Ricketts jumped 14.98. We also have Povea 1493, Katora Orji 1492. Some competition, but no one is at that level that Rojas is, where Rojas is consistently just taking off those 15 meter jumps. And she also has a lot of room to improve. If you take a look at her second phase, she's really not hitting it as far as she potentially can go. So, Yulamar Rojas, the clear favorite for the next couple gold medals, and she may even go farther and improve her world record over the next couple seasons as well. Sticking it in the field events, we have to talk about Ryan Krauser from the US. Now this year, he will already be 29 years old. Competing in that shot put though, of course he got the gold medal in 2021. That defends his Olympic medal from 2016, the gold medal he got there. He has a personal best, which is the world record of 23.37 meters. And in Tokyo, he also threw a couple other 23 meter throws. So he is far and away the best in the field. Multiple times he goes over 22 meters like it is nothing. His toughest competition, Joe Kovas with a best of 22.91 meters and Tom Walsh with a best of 22.90 meters. Of course, Joe Kovas is the defending world champion from Doha in 2019. So we got to keep a lookout for them. But Ryan Krauser, again, he is the class of the field and very likely might be able to get the next couple gold medals if he keeps up this consistency. Back on the track, we have to mention Safana San from the Netherlands. Now at 28 years old this year, she is one of the best women's distance runners in the history of the sport. She got the gold medals in the 5,000 and 10,000 meters at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Of course, she got the bronze in the 1,500 meters, an unprecedented triple, but she also has gold from 2019 in the 15 and 10, and of course got those gold medals in Tokyo. Her 10K personal best is 29 minutes, 6.82 seconds, which is number two all time. Of course, previously the world record, her 5k personal best 14 minutes 22.12 seconds only number 12 all time but she hasn't really attacked that as I think many people think that she could she has some really tough competition of course Latessa Bet Gide holds the world record in that 10,000 meters and of course the 5,000 meters as well Gura Sagai she also got the bronze medal in the women's 5,000 Helen Obiri silver medalist in Tokyo from the women's 5,000 Francine Niyosaba who has been on a tear in the 2021 season there's so many distance women who are really going to be some great competition for Hassan, but Safan Hassan really has been dominating not only the championships, but of course on the circuit. So keep a lookout for her in the subsequent championships to see if she's able to keep up that gold medal streak. Keeping things in the distance, we have Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda. Now he is only 25 years old this year, but he has gold medals from 2019 in the 10K and a 5K gold medal from the Tokyo 2021 Olympics. Now he got the 10K and 5K world records back in 2020, but he has a lot of competition. Like I noted, he didn't get the 10K gold in 2021. Some of the other competitions, Selimon Bereka from Ethiopia, he got the 10K gold. Jacob Kipolimo, his countryman from Uganda, Yomov Kajelcha, Mohamed Amin. Med, Paul Chalimo, we have Aragawe, and many, many more who are going to be on Chef the Guy's heels. But because of how young he is and how fast he has been able to run, like I noted, has the world records in the 5K and 10K, he is a very good contender to potentially get the subsequent gold medals in the next few championships. Finally, let's end things off with one of the youngest, Jakob Ingebrigtsen from Norway, only 21 years old this year, in the 1500 meters, got the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympic Games. His personal best of three Three minutes 28.28 seconds is number eight all time in the 1500 meters he's been chasing timothy churiot for the past couple years but finally in that olympic final iga britson was able to get the best of churiot now timothy churiot is probably one of his top competitors but we also have muhammad katir who's not too far behind also with a 328 personal best josh kerr who got the bronze medal in tokyo stuart mcswain from australia abel kipsang all these guys are really going to be in contention but jakob inga britson because because he is one of the youngest in the field and is still only getting much better, he definitely is going to be a great contender to go for all the next gold medals at these championships. Now, there are many, many other names such as Elaine Thompson in the 100 and 200, Karsten Warholm in the 400 meter hurdles, Steven Gardner in the 400, Jasmine
Jasmine Camacho Quinn in the women's 100 meter hurdles, and a bunch others that I just didn't mention here. But I want you to go in the comments below. Let me know if you think any of the names I mentioned above will be able to win five consecutive gold medals after winning gold in Tokyo here, or if there are any athletes that I didn't mention that you think should be in the conversation. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.